Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save your money on your cable bill. Unless you've lived under a rock for the past 15 years or so, I'm sure you're familiar with Netflix. After all this time, Netflix is still the number one streaming service on Earth. Although lately, Disney Plus is starting to give them a run for their money, that's a video for another time. So I think it's safe to say the vast majority of people out there know all about Netflix, right? But I'd be willing to bet that most of those people don't know about what I'm going to show you in today's video. Did you ever notice that very often you go to find that super popular movie or TV show on Netflix and it's just not there? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can multiply the size of your Netflix library. You'll learn how you can watch some of those blockbuster hits that none of your friends can. They might say to you, that's my favorite movie of all time, but it's not on Netflix. You could say, it's on my Netflix. This will work on all your streaming devices that supports Netflix, from your Amazon Fire Sticks to Android TV streaming devices, your cell phone, tablets, even your computer. So if you're ready to learn how you can get the largest Netflix library in town, sit back, relax, and let's go. All right, so before we get started, I'll let you know what you'll need. Number one, a paid Netflix account. It doesn't matter which subscription level you get, this works on all of them. Number two, a streaming device of any kind that supports Netflix. Again, this will work on virtually anything, any Fire TV device, any Android or Google TV streaming device, your smart TV, your cell phone, or your tablet, or even your computer. In fact, I'm gonna demonstrate how all this works on my computer just because it's way quicker to teach you and easier for me to record. The last thing you'll need is a good VPN subscription. Now, before you click away to another video, sit right there until you see this in action. I think even if you're on that not me side of the VPN debate, when you see how this works, you might have second thoughts. The VPN I'll be using to show you all this is IP Vanish, and I'll talk more about that afterwards. Let's not waste any more time, let's jump right in. Okay, so here I am on my computer. As you can see here, I have uh, IP Vanish open but not connected. Right now I'm in the United States and have a United States IP address. And let's just pick a few TV shows and uh, what comes up when we search for them and also some movies after that and uh, give you a good demonstration of what I'm talking about here. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Let's go ahead and search for that here in the United States. Very, very popular TV show, um, lots of seasons, but it's not available here. So if you search for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, it'll show you a bunch of content that, uh, you know, is kind of similar, you know, comedy, sitcoms, types of things here in the United States. Now, let's switch over to the UK with my IP Vanish app. Let's connect to the UK. Now, on your computer, all you need to do is hit refresh. On your Fire Stick, for example, you would exit the app, go to IP Vanish, change to the UK, and then come back into Netflix. Here, we'll just go ahead and hit the refresh button. The search is still in there. And as you can see right here, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, is available here in the UK, as well as a whole bunch of different stuff that's related to that. So you have a whole bunch of different um, TV shows and things available here in the UK that you didn't have in your Netflix library in the United States. Another TV show. While we're in the UK, let's search for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Very popular TV show, right? Here it is in the UK. It's available. Let's go ahead and uh, test this out. Let's disconnect from the UK. Basically giving us back our USA IP address. Hit refresh. And as you can see, it's not available here in the US. Two very, very popular United States TV shows not available here. So that's a couple of TV shows as examples. Let's switch over to some movies now. Let's search for, I am uh, disconnected here. I'm in the US. Search for that movie, The Gentleman. Remember that one? Here in the US, not on Netflix. Let's switch to, you guessed it, the UK. Pick London this time. And we'll go up and hit refresh. And there you go, the gentleman's available. Plus a whole lot of different movies that are similar in the UK. Different from what you saw on the list from the US. Let's try one more. While we're back in the US, let's go ahead and search for The Godfather. 
not showing up here in the US. Let's go ahead and connect to Germany. Connected, let's go up and hit refresh. And you have the Godfather and Godfather part two and a whole bunch of other similar movies. So I hope I didn't go too fast for you and I hope you followed along. But the moral of the story is if you have a VPN where you can set your um, location to other parts of the world, your Netflix library is going to expand immensely. You'll see all sorts of different content available um, in one country versus another, depending on where you set your location. So once again, you've probably heard me say it before, but IPVanish is the VPN that I use and recommend. They are running a deal right now for 72% off or $3.33 a month um, for the two-year package, a little less than four fifty dollars a month if you want it for a year. IPVanish does a lot more than just uh, un-geo-blocking this content for Netflix and other apps. It also helps to encrypt your traffic, keep your identity protected, um, all sorts of information here. You can read up on it here um, on their website. If you go to cordcuttersli.com forward slash IPVanish, you will get this deal. It's the cheapest price that you're going to get anywhere uh, for IPVanish. If you do decide to try IPVanish, I'd really appreciate you clicking on the link that I put down in the description below. It does help in a small way to support the Cord Cutters Ally channel. If you prefer another VPN like ExpressVPN, for example, um, I have a link for that as well down there. If you do give IPVanish a try, go ahead and put some comments down below. I'd like to hear from you. What countries have you learned uh, where you can get a movie where you can't get here or a TV show or whatever? It will take a little trial and error. You know, the, the Netflix libraries change constantly. You know, they add in one country and take away from another country and so on and so forth. Um, so it's sort of a moving target. But with uh, the ability for you know a good VPN like IPVanish or ExpressVPN, you can choose tons and tons of cities within countries all over the world uh, to help you unblock that content. If you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the Cord Cutters Ally channel, and as always, share this in all of your favorite Cord Cutters Ally videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my videos shown to more people on that YouTube algorithm, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.